What's up everybody? This is Bruce aka Geektacular and today I'm going to do another unboxing for you. Today I'm going to be unboxing Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie on Blu-ray. So this is the um, the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie from the 90s. Um, it's been out on DVD forever for a very long time. I used to own it on VHS like when it first came out and I basically watched it into the ground. <laughs> I watched it so many times. I'm pretty sure I could quote virtually the whole movie. But I kind of forgot about it for a while. Um, and then I picked up the DVD of it. I think probably like when I was in college, something like that, to rewatch it. Because you can find this DVD in like bargain bins everywhere, basically. Um, it's available in all kinds of releases. It's sometimes packaged with the Power Rangers Turbo, the movie. Sometimes it's by itself, but you can find this for dirt cheap, used and new. Um, it's been in bargain bins for, you know, for years and years, even though it's a pretty good movie, you know. It's just there's so many of them, you know, the, the supply is very high and the demand these days is not as high. So <laughs> you can find the DVD in a lot of um, a lot of bargain bins and stuff. Um so this is the, I just kind of wanted to show you the DVD before I unbox the Blu-ray, just so you can kind of see what, um, what one of the previous releases looked like. And as I said, there's been several releases. There's probably slightly newer ones than this one as well. But this one has um, 5.1 surround on it. It's in um, anamorphic widescreen. It has a making of featurette and the trailer. So we'll kind of compare that to the Blu-ray and see. But I just wanted to kind of show you that. Um, I've had that for, for a long time, like forever. I don't even remember when I bought it, but I was very happy to find out that they were finally putting this movie out on Blu-ray. I pre-ordered it. I wanted to get, make sure I had it the day that it came out. Cause you know, you never know with releases like this, how long um, they're going to be in print and things like that. So I wanted to be sure that I picked up a copy. Um, so let me go ahead and just show you the slip cover first. The slip cover, um, it's kind of just sort of plain cardboard. It's not like metallic or anything like that. It's not embossed. It's just kind of um, a halfway between matte. It, it, it's basically matte printed. Um, I don't. It's not really glossy, um, but you get the very cool uh, Ranger lineup right there. And then you get uh, you get Goldar and Rita and, and Lord Zed and company there and the egg. Uh, the Uzi egg. So the the sides just say, uh, let's see if I can get it to focus there. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie. And it's got a little um, a little version of the uh, the headshots right there. So that's pretty cool. And yes, the Shout Factory logo right there. Thank you Shout Factory for putting this out because it's freaking awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, the back here has got a cutout for the UPC, and then, so this is what the back looks like. So, um, let's see. So it has the original featurette, which is the thing from the DVD, I imagine. Um, the theatrical trailer, again, from the DVD. And then it has what must be this new feature, a look back at Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie, including new interviews with director Brian Spicer and stars Johnny Young Bosch and Paul Freeman. Um, so very cool. There's the fine print down there. Region A, it looks like. Um, still in 1.85 by 1 widescreen. English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. So yeah. Let me go ahead and take this out. We'll compare here. Because of this blue stripe that they put on the slip cover, it's literally like identical to the case. Uh, even like the layout. Side is also identical. They both have the Power Ranger heads kind of at the bottom here. Same logos, same font and all that stuff. Back you have the same cool. This this was um, artwork from the movie poster. I actually used to have a poster of this on my wall growing up. Uh, with the the face, the helmets all kind of lined up like this. So this is kind of an iconic piece of art from the uh, movie posters and stuff. So yeah, these are literally identical in content and layout even. Sometimes they change up the layout to make it fit um, on the disc art um, and the 
the insert, but they're laid out exactly the same. So yeah, not much reason to have this um, slip cover, but hey, it, you know, some people like slip covers, so there you go. I happen to not really like them just because not all movies come with the slip cover, especially if you buy a lot of kind of out of print or rare uh, DVDs and Blu-rays that originally had slip covers. A lot of times if you buy them from like eBay or uh, used or something like that, they no longer come with the slip covers. So you end up with a bunch of stuff in your collection that just doesn't have a slip cover. And you have some that do, and it makes it just kind of like, I don't know, it makes it look a little weird to me. Whereas you can have every single movie that you purchase without the slipcover. And that kind of uniformity uh, makes me happy, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see if I can get this uh, shim crap off here. Oop. Yeah, I have quite the uh, time with the shrink wrap today. There we go. I was kind of stuck on the spine there. Okay, so here we go. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look inside. I don't think there's like any codes or anything. No, just the disc. Oh, but there's inner artwork. All right, so let's take a look at this. So there's the disc itself, um, matte printed, um, full graphic here, which is awesome. You got the full logo, you know, a screenshot or a, you know, a production art shot right there. Live action photo. So cool. Uh, I'm glad that they just didn't phone it in and give it like a black background with a die cut text or something. I'm glad that they actually like went through the trouble to put in, you know, full artwork here with all the rangers and everything. I think that looks really cool. Um, they did a really good job with that. I like that a lot. And they have inner artwork, which they definitely, you know, didn't need to do, but they did, which is awesome. Let me just pull this out so you can see it. This is what it looks like in the case. Um, I'll pull these out here. So here we go. I don't know if these are from something. Like, I don't know if these were like trading cards or something back in the day. They kind of look like trading cards or something. It might just be kind of like really creative, uh, you know, like superficial credits or something. I don't know. But those are really cool. They're kind of like designed as if they are, uh, are, um, trading cards here let me know in the comments if you know if these if they like took this artwork specifically from like trading cards or something i remember there was a trading card set for this movie i had a ton of them if not all of them at some point um i i know that one of the cool things that they had um for the trading cards for the movie were these like pop-up cards where there were, it was kind of like a pop-up book but each one was like the size of a trading card and pull a little tab and it would like a character or something would like come out of the card, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if this is from something like that or if these are just kind of cool artwork that they wanted to add to the inside, but they look really neat. Um, yeah, very cool. I like that a lot and it looks really good. Um, on the inside of the case too. Sometimes artwork is like a little too uh, busy or has too many colors. And then when you put them in the in like a blue um, Blu-ray case, they kind of look weird. But these look totally cool. Yeah, I like those a lot. So that's pretty much it um, as far as the packaging and all that stuff goes. It wasn't too expensive either. I think it was maybe 12 bucks or something like that. Brand new, it just came out today. So yeah, it was not that expensive at all. Um, if you're looking to pick up this film, um, I would definitely, instead of spending like the five or six bucks to get the DVD, I would definitely invest uh, in the Blu-ray. Just because, you know, you never know how long they'll make these. Um, it might go out of print at some point. Um, <clears throat> even though they did include this in the kind of the limited edition big um, Power Rangers set that contained a a lot of seasons of the show in like a, a Red Ranger helmet. They included this already, I believe, in that release, if I recall. Um, 
or no, it wasn't that release. Uh, it was another. It was another release that packaged together a bunch of uh, Ranger stuff. It might have been the Steelbook release. I don't know. It was one of those. But this had been released already in a larger set. This is the first time that it's coming out as a standalone purchase. So I have every basically everything else, ter um, Rangers related on DVD and Blu-ray. So this will be a great upgrade uh, to my collection. So thanks everybody for watching this. If you like this unboxing, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. That would be awesome. If you like these kinds of videos, if you like Blu-ray unboxings, DVD unboxings, um, gadgets, if you like kaiju films, Star Trek, Star Wars, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, pretty much anything geeky like that, go ahead and click subscribe down below. And also be sure to hit that notification bell down below so that way you won't miss any of my future content. So thanks so much for watching everyone and I'll catch you next time.